later, huh? Pretty exciting to come back and see this. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's a good day today. Do you, do you feel anything emotions uh, years after about how special your team was? Well, yeah, looking back, how, how hard it is to to win and then to win the back-to-back, -back, of course, with the, although I think the team tonight was the first one. And, you know, 42 years is a long time. So that was a special uh, time to win a cup for sure. As you watch teams win it now and over the years, every team has a different characteristic, a personality to it. Your team that year certainly had its own. Do you try to compare or do you kind of look and see how special your group was? No, I, I mean, you look at the, the players that are in the Hall of Fame, that's that's not uh, everything. I mean, there's some players that just miss, but I, th I don't know how many there was, nine or ten or something. And uh, obviously, uh, you know, having that many on a team is, is just uh, hard. You, you wouldn't be able to do it again, that's for sure. Scott, you talked about that 97 team. What team stands out the most uh, when you think back to that team? Well, as everyone knows, that era when we were, it was Colorado and our, and our team were both terrific teams and you know they would beat us and we would have to beat them and usually if you beat each other you, you could win the you get a pretty good chance of winning the cup and uh, I, you know I, I think uh, you know the, the 95 loss was a tough loss because we had that was 40 40 years and then you get in the finals I guess uh, possibly for the only the second time of the franchise since, since they won all those cups. And that was a tough loss because we, you know, we we lost four straight, and I think I'm pretty sure we were the favorites. But yeah, the '97 team. I mean, you know, when you we, we ended up playing, well, we, I think we played Philadelphia, uh, the Flyers, and they they beat the Rangers. Uh, they they had a, I mean, they were the. I, I wouldn't know if they were the favorites, but uh, they were they were a real uh, they were a really good team too, you know. And uh, you know, uh, uh, looking back at our team, we had. I mean, we lost, uh, you know, we, 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 lo we lost in 95, but in 97, I mean, uh, I think when you look at the, the players we had on that team, we had pretty well everything you need, you know. When you say there was a lot of heartbreak on route to 97, what do you think that that team will involve? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, go, uh, it's, it's not exactly like today, the NHL, but... Uh, I think the fact that uh, we we got Mike Vernon, you know, approved he was the goalie, and he, you know, we had not not that it was tough on young goalies coming in, and it's still tough now, and uh, I, I think the uh, NHL is it's a lot like the NFL, you know, the NFL is quarterback league. You see it every every time a team gets going and they lose a quarterback or something. And uh, hockey now in the NHL, is, uh, the way it's played, it's a different game. Goaltending is is a is a huge factor, and goaltending and power play. They, they, you know, if you don't have those two components, you're, it's tough now. You, even even a team like Com Columbus that just, uh, you know, they've only lost five games, uh, and, and they're, they get the most point, I mean, the best uh, record in the league. But their goaltender's been exceptional, and their power play is around 24 percent. So I mean, we, we we I don't know what our record was on the power play, but I'm pretty sure it was. Especially with guys like Lindstrom and Steve and getting face-offs to circuit, so you know we ha we had I guess what we had that it's hard to get today is our center ice was so, so strong, you know we we could move guys uh, on the wing if we had to you know when you think we had Steve Steve was pretty well in his prime then, um, Sergey Chris Draper came in and did a great job and Igor was great uh, uh, hockey IQ player that you couldn't couldn't duplicate so uh, I think when you get those kind of players uh, you can you can make a good team out of it you know like Nick is probably the best example he had he had an awful lot of partners in his in his career and even even ones that were unknown what other teams would come in and you know I wasn't here uh, later on when Brian Rafalski he was a good player Brian but when, when he got with Nick he was you know, over the top, and uh, all the, all the next partners, and you know, he played a little bit with uh, Laddie when before Laddie had his terrible injury and uh, accident, and uh, you know, Chelios not a lot because they're both experienced, but you know, he played with Larry Murphy, uh, who was, I mean, he was, and well, and he was good in Pittsburgh and in Toronto, he was he was he was not 
not, not, not what he was like here. They didn't have a lips in the pool with him. And, uh, you know, not Larry just the best come out of him. You know, he's a good offensive guy. And Nick, you know, he had other partners. I, I think he had, uh, well, he had Freddie Olison one year. I think uh, after I left, he had uh, Andres Lilia. He had, I mean, it, yeah, we, we, I mean, it's hard to believe how, when you look back, it's hard to believe how good he was, you know. Uh, and that's what teams need today is when you have, when you have a goalie and you have a defenseman like that, you see it. You see it in the league now. You know, like Chicago's got Duncan Keith, and and uh, you know, and you look around the the, the guy in Ottawa, some player uh, Carlson and uh, Doughty. I mean, they they can just about make a whole defense. But you need that. It's it's hard to get that guy because you only usually get him if you're a way down. You know, in in, in the standings, or if you got lucky. I think. Ottawa did they didn't draft uh, Carlson and then the low. I, mean, I don't know. He was about fifteenth or something. You have a lot of today. great memories here. What do you think about them leaving this building after this year? Yeah, it's it's different. I mean, you're right. The people, the rinks are new. The facilities. I mean, even some of the, not older buildings, but ones that were built in the '90s. They're they're all doing renovation now. Like I know in Chicago, they're they're taking uh, they're building a new building in front to move all the offices and that out and build other facilities for the people you know so it looks I mean it's hard we saw the tour they gave us a tour of the they had all the uh, models around and show they showed what the eventual will be but they showed the the arena we we saw the the suites that are going to be up and running and uh, I mean it's pretty hard to duplicate that unless you build a brand new building like this one do you have a favorite uh, memory or game from Joel's arena game uh you know it's hard to pick one uh pro probably the, the 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 fourth game in 97 was one winning winning the fourth game at home uh and it's not easy you know to to sweep a team that's good you get in the finals you're playing a good team and uh you know i th i think maybe the 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 game uh, it was probably '96 because that's when we won. Uh, we won 62 games when uh, Steve Steve Eisenman scored that overtime goal. St. Louis was a, when I look at their roster, they had a they had a really good team. You know, Gretzky wasn't there a long time, but um, we we just you know we w that was a tough series. I mean, it went seven games and went into oh, was it first or second overtime? Maybe I'm second overtime. You know, so th those games you remember. Uh, cup clinching wins you always remember those games you know and uh, another game uh, I think Sergey scored five goals in a game against Washington I think yeah. I remember that there's a lot of individual performances that uh, you don't you know there's so many and you can't just put your finger on one